it's, it's nearly impossible to prepare for something like the mass shooting in Las Vegas. But police are always learning from these tragedies in hopes of preventing another one from happening. And joining us now in our studio is Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross. Commissioner, we're so pleased to have you. Thanks Thank so you. much for being here. Thank you. You know, we look at this outdoor mm -hmm. concert and we I can't help but think about all the things we have on the parkway. And we have these large crowds and you guys, of course, prepare for this. What were your first thoughts when you started hearing all of this? What goes through your mind from your perspective? Well, I, I couldn't believe it at first. I mean, you're hoping that what you're seeing is, is almost like a dream mm -hmm. and, and uh, it turns out to be an absolute nightmare. Mm. Um, you, you think about the fact that it could happen anywhere um, and despite your best efforts uh, to plan, is virtually nothing that Las Vegas could have done to prevent this. I mean, we do a lot of things in uh, law enforcement. As you mentioned, we have a myriad of uh, events uh, on the parkway and all along the city. And uh, we learn from each other. Uh, most often is from tragic events, sadly. And, uh, you know, I look at Sheriff Lombardo, who I know. Uh, we went through a training session together for aspiring chiefs seven years ago. And uh, that couldn't have prepared him for this, though, or anybody else for that matter. What do you think is going through his mind? I heard you on news radio express that you do know the sheriff out there. What can possibly be going through his mind in trying to not correct the situation, but to deal with it? There's so much going on. Well, he, he's thinking about uh, leadership and, and making sure that he, he represents uh, not only his department, but the nation mm -hmm. uh, in a way that is uh, honorable. And he's done just that. I couldn't be more proud of him and his department. And from everything that I've seen, uh, the manner in which uh, Las Vegas responded is nothing short of remarkable. Mm -hmm. And you all, as I said, prepare for this sort of thing. And I know you can't get into deep details because that's part of the preparation. But when you talk to your men and women, when you guys go through these trainings, when you go through the trainings, what are you focused on? What, what are you trying to do to make yourself as prepared as possible in the event of something like this? Well, look, uh, the world has changed post 9-11, right? And so the events that we never considered as uh, dangerous before, in any way, shape, or fashion, now we've got to consider them that way. And so we look at every event, particularly large-scale events with a lot of people, and we think about ways, unfortunately, that somebody could harm them. And uh, we try to train uh, towards that. It's, it's a sad testament to the world we mm -hmm. live in. Uh, but this, this is where we are now, and so that's what we do. Commissioner, we thank you for your time and your insight. Thank All you. Right. Thank